Okay, welcome to the Digital Diamond Baseball version 2.1.3 update on what's new. Uh, the first and the biggest addition to this version is the support for player pictures. So you can now include player pictures in your game. I'll do a quick walkthrough about how that works. First, we'll show you where they are displayed. Player pictures are shown in the pop-up for players. You can see one here. And the way you can configure the game to use your pictures is to first visit the player picture options under the option menu. And as you can see here, all of my photos are stored in a folder named 2008 and this folder is located in a new folder called player picks. So if you look in the digital diamond installation directory you'll find a folder called player picks and you can create various subfolders in there where you can store your player images. You then need to associate the proper so uh, subfolder with your library. In this case, it's a 2008 league library, so I um, am so specifying that this library should use the 2008 subfolder in my player pictures directory, and that subfolder contains all of my player pictures. The next two fields you can use to customize the naming convention. The default is that the game will look for a file that uses the following convention, the first name, followed by an underscore, followed by the last name, followed by an underscore, followed by the word, the uh, team name the player plays on, and then uh, the .jpg extension. If it doesn't find a picture that matches that naming convention, it will then look for a picture that starts with the first name, underscore, last name, and JPEG. So if you can follow this convention, the, the game will work right out of the box without you changing these settings at all. So here's a shot of my uh, directory and as you can see I have a player picks folder and inside there I have a 2008 folder and here are all my player images and you can see they either uh, follow the first name underscore last name um, convention or they follow the first name underscore last name underscore team convention and the team name has to match the team name that the player is given in the game and notice the year is not included in that. Finally, I can specify what size I want my images to be. Uh, the game will scale them to match whatever you enter here. So you can make the pictures bigger or smaller than they really are. And this allows you to use any aspect ratio you want. In this case, my pictures are 100 high by 70 wide. Let's take a look at that again. And there's the picture. So uh, that's a, a summary. If you have questions about creating the, or setting your player pictures up correctly, please feel free to contact uh, support and we're very happy to help you with this feature. Uh, and the game does not ship with pictures, obviously, uh, so you have to get your own and you should be sure to respect any copyright privileges that come with those images. Another really nice new feature of the game is the ability now to um, change the league average file that players are associated with. And the game now ships with American League and National League league average files for um, for all seasons from 73 forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do both of these things. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to filter the players in my library by league. So I'm going to get American League players first. And then I'm going to highlight all of these players. And again, these are just the American League players. And I'm going to click the new button, Edit League Average File. And I'm going to type 2008. AL, which is a new league average file that comes with the game, and I'll say OK. And you'll see this will change all of the players' league ag ad average files in the American League to the 2008 uh, American League league average, average file. Now I'm going to clear that filter and I'm going to set it again, this time for the National League. And I'm going to highlight all the players that show up in the National League, and I'm going to change their league average file to 2008. National League. And this will put all of the National League players in the 2008 National League League Average File. So this adds you, gives you much greater realism in your replays because your players are now being compared with their peers in the respective leagues. And because the league averages can be very different between the National League and American League, this makes the game a lot more realistic. Um, you can also use this Edit League Average button to change any players into any league average. So if you're building a minor league library and you want to put the players in a special league average file that you've created just for your minor league library, 
you can use this button. It used to be you had to run the import all over again um, to change that, but you can now do it dynamically. We've also changed the name of this column. It used to be called year, but really more accurately, it should be called league average file. So uh, any questions about that, be sure to send them along to support, but you uh, can now start to use American League and National League league average files very easily if you like, and add your own league average files as well. Okay, another feature that's been added in 2.1.3 is a new player rating called lead, and this rating uh, determines how easy it will be for a player to get a good lead. You can't steal unless you have a good lead. Uh, this is calculated based on the, how often the player steals when they reach first base. So this provides for a much real, more realistic uh, base stealing experience because players that steal a lot obviously can get better lead, leads than players who do not. So this will create more realistic statistics and also makes the game more fun. Uh, the lead rating, by the way, is penalized if there's a left-handed pitcher on the mound, which also adds more strategy for the manager during a game. Next new feature that's been added to the game uh, are three new reports. There's a team game log now that you can view that shows all the games your team has played so far, as well as the, whole, uh, the w winning pitcher, losing pitcher, who got the save, and if there were any special events for that game, they'll be listed as well. You can also view a team starter log, which shows all of the starters for your team throughout the season, so you can monitor your rotation real easily through this report. And finally, a special events log, which allows you to view all the special events that have taken place so far in your simulation, and they're categorized by the same categories you can use uh, to create your special events. For example, here's the error category, where uh, um, Kansas City had four errors, the home run category, where... Uh, a-Rod had three home runs, and so on. So you should enjoy these new reports. Version 2.1.3 also now tracks maximum hitting streaks in addition to current hitting streaks. So you can see here this player has a maximum hitting streak of seven and his current hitting streak is one. And you can also view these by looking at the uh, reports, league leaders. Uh, you'll see a report, uh, report of both the current max uh, hitting streaks and the longest hitting streak of the season are better pop-ups on the schedule pane. As you can see here now, we can see uh, who started the game, as well as the special events, uh, winning, losing pitchers, and the save. So you can now track who was started also from the schedule pane. There are several other new features, including a, a brand new look for the in-game line score, which people have been asking for for a while. We also have a, some new play-by-play -play that uh, provides an introduction to the game, along with starting pitchers, the teams, and their records. Uh, and several other things that you should check out online. We've listed all of the new options and features in the game in, it, in our what new, What's New post um, on our forum. So I hope you enjoy the new version, and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions.